First one is remember. The second is realize. This speaks to me as well as it speaks to you. I think from our first reading and, and the responsorial psalm, God tells us to always remember. Remember for the Israelites that even their suffering in Egypt, they were led from captivity to freedom. In a way, they were saved. And basically, what the Lord wanted them to realize is that the deeds of the Lord basically is nothing else but His saving love. That has always been the story then and the story now. And we should always remember that in our own personal lives and even in our own ministry. Because that will always keep us going. Uh, I'm sure you have entered always in your life an experience of what we call crossroads. Yung sangang daan, hindi ba? Nagtatalo ka, tatanungin sa sarili mo, no? Saan ba ako pupunta? Minsan you're led, no, dito na lang. Kasi, uh, ito medyo baka kaya-kaya ito, pero pag dito mukhang hindi. So, that was actually my experience when I took over the uh, Commission of Social Communications. I had no background in social communication. My life basically was eight years in the Commission on Seminaries. I was into the uh, formation of seminaries. I was also a formator. I did not have any studies abroad or about social communications. I was afraid of uh, uh, media. I was afraid of the camera. Sino ba naman ang hindi? And basically when I took over, I was I was not smiling. But six years have passed and the consistent reminder of the Lord is remembered. In whatever task I give, I will always be there. My saving love will for our priest uh, in charge of social communication sa karanasan po natin kalimitan ng mga obispo pipili lang yan ikaw, ikaw na lang di ba? hindi naman yun pinag-aaral ka ba hindi ikaw na lang wala kang mong ginagawa ikaw na lang so, you see uh, if you try to look at it this has been basically the uh, the experience. Kaya nga po kung titignan natin, no, magandang uh, balikan lahat ng personal na karanasan natin. It is uh, a reminder to us to always remember. Because whatever crossroads we will take, God's love will be on. And the second one is realized. I think uh, this is a pick up event from our readings uh, yesterday. Um, yes, when uh, uh, the Lord told Simon Peter that he will be rock upon which he will build his church. Ito na nga, no? Sabi ni Lord, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow. Ang daan ng Panginoon palaging dadaan sa proseso ng Diyos. Media ministry, as we will want to evade it, elude it, escape it, is really a Paschal mystery. Uh, lalo na ngayon, no? we are in challenging times. We are in trying times. Napakadali sana kung uh, uh, basta na lang pakikinggan tayo eh. Pero sa panahon ngayon, ganun. Hindi lang sa hindi tayo basta pinakikinggan, marami bumabati ko sa atin. So itatanong mo sa sarili mo, hirap itong gawain na ito. Mahirap na nga humanap ng katulong o katuwang kung sa gawain, hindi po ba? Eh lalong mahirap pa yung gawain. So, you will see, realize 
that in whatever task in your personal life, in your ministry, it will always be the path of the cross. It will always be the Paschal Mystery. But realize that the Paschal Mystery is not only suffering and to complete the Paschal Mystery, there is the Resurrection. So realize that in our own experience, there is an internal, interior fulfillment that happens to us. I can just marvel at the past six years. It's not a pat on my back, but really, God, Christ Himself, uh, that we have actually grown. We have seen the urgency of this ministry. We have been dedicated and committed to this ministry in our diocese, in our own parishes. We have been still, as always, prophets of in our own way. Kaya pagtitig na nyo, realize that there is a fulfillment that happens and that is the resurrection. We can just say, thank you Lord for amidst the suffering, amidst the death, there is always that. So just two words no, for this morning and something that you can bring. Remember, God's love always there. Hindi tayo mababayaan. Realize the path of our media ministry is always the Paschal mystery. Yes, we will suffer. Yes, we will die. But together with Christ,